this is the energy vibration reading for the first week of September for the, Cap the Capricorn Sun Moon and Rising sign I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for the wonderful positive energy vibration for you Capricorns and we are going to take a minute week begin from the second until the eighth it is a week from love it's a water week water energy water week let's see what's coming up for ooh, for you Capricorns okay so there's um very very wonderful um it is the week of new start um but it's without the family okay so there is a message for someone um, here it is a week of a new start but it's without the family energy of the family is in the reverse so whatever the issue is I'm seeing some of you Capricorns having a new start but some of you are having this new start without the family however this affects you we are going to be re um, shuffling the cards and see what is coming out if the same energy comes out for you Capricorn so for the Capricorn Sun Moon Horizon sign first week of September what's coming out for the Capricorns Capricorn Sun Moon Horizon sign oh my god Cappy is uh, you have your own energy for vibration in this week um, it's a center energy um, they're saying and this is the end of a cycle for you Capricorns whatever the issue is and situation whatever that was playing in your life you Capricorns this is the center of the week it's as if you end a cycle a cycle has been ended for you for whatever that was transpire and going on okay so whatever the issue was that was in August it is being ended It's a cycle that was happening and this has to do with the night of once and this is a man 45 years and older whatever the issue you were having with this person the cycle is now over yay it can be that that person the conflicts there was conflicts that person had created some conflicts in your life you have ended the cycle you are like bye bye this is ending I no longer want to have anything to do with you so whoever this Aries Leo or Sagittarius man was there was some conflicts between you and this man now this man was an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius there was some conflicts between this man and you have in this cycle okay for the crowning of the week I'm seeing an organization in array um, whatever the issue is whatever that transpired for you Capricorns an organization is in array because you end something that was going on you decide no I'm ending it okay so we have the energy of uh, the nine of cups your wishes and dreams in a ray and we're seeing that uh, I'm seeing that people wants to work with you okay so whatever there was I'm seeing your wishes and dreams in a ray so um, whatever there was I'm seeing people coming in and wants to work with you that's kind of strange energy of the Sun also um, is here the conflicts is over but I'm seeing news coming in so for some of you this is the energy and for some of you is the reverse energy and this is what I'm seeing playing because then the, the your wishes and dreams are here and the Sun is here and King of Cups the burdens the lovers is um, um, but a strong foundation so what is happening is that really your wishes and dreams are definitely going to be coming true you're going to be successful successfully releasing yourself and your wishes and dreams are coming true and people are going to be wanting to work for you so and this is it when um, you are doing these readings it's like someone out there could be sending out an energy okay because whenever you call upon the angels and guide they show you different energies for people who read very well or people who channel very well but you have to look at the layout of the cards because whatever that comes behind the cards tell you what is happening so your wishes and dreams because if your wishes and dreams didn't come out then you couldn't have a new start and some people wants to work with you and then what we have here 
is that the Sun and news is going to be coming in so obviously um, your wishes and dreams is coming true because this is a cycle that you're ending and the new cycle is starting and you end the cycle with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius with a conflict with an organization your wishes and dreams come true people wants to work with your news are coming in some of you were working with uh, an Aries Leo or Sagittarius and a Pisces Cancer or Scorpion man there were some conflicts these two men have created some real conflicts and these two men you know they missed jail time because I think if they were in another country or another situation they would have had full pledge jail time one of them is definitely going to jail this one could be escaping because he has money to pay but I think the Aries Leo or Sagittarius is going to jail okay the organization um, financial stability that means this organization have to pay you and your family a lot of money it could be an, uh, an hospital it could be an insurance company it could be an organization that something injustice some deceptive things it could be that these two were your ex boss and they have done something deceptive the Pisces cancer and the Aries, the are Sagittarius, because these are men 45 years and older. Whatever they did and whatever has transpired, they have to pay you. Our organization have to pay you a lot of money. Ten of Pentacles, and this has nothing to do with family issue. It has to do with some you guys had an issue with an organization. These two men sit to work against you, because these are two men that's that try to work against you. And this organization is so obviously some of you this could be a, a work situation where they have cost you some um, some burdens you were carrying some burdens but these burdens are over because you're realizing that your wishes and dreams are coming true these burdens are over because your wishes and dreams are coming true and this is nice because nine and nine is the end of a cycle the world is the end of a cycle so you guys have 99 where no other person has uh, the energy vibration of a number in this week. Um, now, the lovers, which is the energy of the week, is here. And your wishes and dreams is coming out with the energy of the lovers. And what this is saying is that uh, the lovers is going to be connecting with you. Some of you, uh, um, ex or a soulmate or a twin flame could be connecting with you. A lot of text messages coming up and people want to reconnect with you the energy of you have a strong foundation is here this is good this have to do with work for some of you just have to do with a house for some of you if you have a business there could be success in your business and a lot of energy coming out around your business success is here the Sun is here and people are going to be helping you through an hardship a situation that you have gone through I'm seeing help coming in the energy of success is here and help is coming in I'm seeing a lot of communication that is coming in for you can the, the Capricorns whatever it is I'm seeing a lot of communication coming in uh, some of you who were having issues with your kids I'm seeing you communicating I'm seeing you trying to resolve the issue the hardship is now over so some of you were really really going through a difficult cycle where you were going through some hardship this is finally over the cycle of hardship is over five of Pentacles is in the reverse this is actually ladies and gentlemen a very good reading because it's the energy of the energy of the lovers okay some of you could be reconnecting with your uh, twin flame or soul Mate. so some of you could be reconnecting with your twin flame and your soulmate I am seeing here that you are going to be receiving a lot of messages now if you have a business this could be speed a lot of speed is coming in because even at work if you have a lot of work and um, but I'm seeing success whatever is coming up is as if you're going to be successful over a situation that has to do with some work issue where there was an Aries Leo or Sagittarius man and a Pisces Cancer Scorpio man 
and whatever the issue is and whatever the situation is I'm seeing a resolution that is coming up to this and I'm seeing things are going to be working out in a positive direction for you um, Capricorns now I have two cards uh, the right one and the left one I have two cards the right one and the left one so the energy of the lovers I'm seeing you meeting your twin flame some of you could be building a business with your twin flame or building a business with someone of your soul family this is coming in whatever your burdens was it is now going away you're still working them out with an organization it could be with a boss or someone from an institute but this organization is in the reverse because they weren't vibrating on a healthy manner um, right on card and left on card choose one of these if you choose the right on we have Archangel Gabriel you have an important life purpose involved communication the hearts please don't allow insecurity to block you I will help you so Archangel Gabriel is coming in call upon Archangel Gabriel for the help with your divine life purpose whatever the issue is call upon Archangel Gabriel if you choose the right hand card left hand card we have India and she said you're a light worker God needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the hurt and all that it is in habitants so Capricorns I am loving loving your reading this is powerful these are two powerful guided angels this is Gabriel and in the real end they are all about your spirituality and all about the spiritual side of you ladies and gentlemen whatever the cycle was you have ended it in August enjoy cross watch to see who is this uh, um, Aries Leo Sagittarius you have number 99 no no one else had had a number but you have a six and nine you have the ten of pentacles which is good so I'm seeing after and if you have a legal issue a legal suit you're going to be winning some money a lot of money ten of Pentacles is coming in and it's going to help you to rid you of your burdens the energy of the Sun is here and this is wonderful because you are going to be successfully overcoming a situation with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius an, an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius or a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion these two people are in the reverse you're successfully overcoming a situation and you are going to be receiving help um, against these people long-term stability is here and I'm seeing things are going to start moving fast so enjoy your week namaste